Well, hello everyone, I'm Uriel Luck, and this is The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. Um, basically, watch the video. It all began with a call for help. A letter from Borgovia addressed to Van Helsing. The great monster slayer, my father. He doesn't take cases anymore, but I am a hunter too. So I set off on a journey with Lady Katarina, my remarkable companion. I'm an expert on the supernatural, and I seem to be drawn to it. Occasionally events get out of control, and then we have to leave in quite a hurry. Sometimes it's Katarina's fault. She can be quite reckless at times. Still, she always helps me save the day. And she also happens to be a ghost. My father rescued her from Borgovia, and she has been bound to serve our family ever since. Katarina often complains about it, but I think she really likes the thrill of the adventure. She is a charming soul, but she also has a darker side. Good. It comes in helpful when I'm in danger. Somewhere along the way, we slowly learned to work together. And finally, in the cold rain of Venice, we became a team. The last leg of the journey was by sea. Apart from the Kraken, the pirates, and the storms, it was mostly uneventful. I had time to ponder my mission. Once, Borgovia was a dark place where monsters lived. Long ago, my father defeated the immortal kings, created a peace treaty, and entrusted the land to some enlightened individuals. What could have happened there? What could be even more frightening than the reign of monsters? The closer we drew to Borgovia, the more confusing the rumors became. The land behind the Thunderhead Mountains was wrapped in mystery. As our carriage approached the mountain pass, I had a sense of foreboding. It didn't really surprise me when I heard an explosion. The adventure has just begun. And here we have the rest of what the game is. Uh, basically, The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing is actually an action RPG role-playing game uh, made by the uh, Hungarian independent development studio of Neocore Games, which I honestly don't want to butcher their name, but, you know, sorry guys, you guys did amazing with this game so far. Um, I have played this game probably for about four hours in total on my other character on this character i just of course started at the beginning because you know i'm only four hours in why not but um it's an isometric view of course so it's top down and it's kind of well it is very reminiscent of older isometric action rpgs which a lot of people would you know consider something along the lines of um you know, I don't know, Diablo, but uh, basically, uh, the the game itself is actually a lot of fun to play. It's got a lot going for it. Uh, it is based on the uh, Dracula novel by Bram Stoker. Stoker, I, I said Stoker, not, not not the other word, but um, I, it does take place in a. Uh, a Similar one, but twisted area. Weird version of the 19th century Europe. With monsters, magic, and weird technology, according to Wikipedia. Yes, I'm reading the Wikipedia page. I'm sorry. It's very pretty, though. Even on my computer, it is very pretty. And that's one of the things I love about this game. The aesthetics. Aesthetics. And the... The... Just the art style of this game is actually well done. It's not one of those games where it's like, oh, it's just pretty and this, but it, no, it actually pulls you into the story. And the the beginning part that I made you guys watch the video, of course, was the, the video of why Abraham Helsing, which is, of course, Van Helsing's son, according to the books, is actually doing what he's doing and why you're here. But... It's kind of reminiscent of the whole Bram Stoker Dracula novel as well, because you're kind of returning to an area that Van Helsing has already been to, and this and that, and 
Uh, this game was actually released back in 2013, for those of you that don't know. Um, it's definitely worth a playthrough. I actually picked up this one, and I let me, let me make sure here I actually picked up the, the second one as well. Yeah, I did. I picked up this first and the second one on a uh, Steam sale, basically. And um, the third one is also out as well, so it's a trilogy so far. Um, it, it's... It just pulls you into the world with everything that's going on. It's, I, I actually didn't want to stop playing so I could record my voiceover. I was like, I just want to play. Um, I did have some a, a few issues because I'm used to playing it with my mouse and keyboard. But for some dumb reason, I left my controller plugged in and sitting here staring at the screen going, why isn't my character doing anything? Why can't I move anything with my mouse? And then I look up, I'm like, oh, well, there's that. So, as a gamer, I make dumb decisions too, people. Um, basically, I'm doing a lot of menu searching right now because this is the first few levels and everything, and I gotta try and understand how things work. And there's... Uh, this whole thing is set up totally different with the menus and everything on the controller than it is on the keyboard and mouse. I prefer the keyboard and mouse setup personally because it's a lot easier and the interface is a lot quicker and it's just more accessible. The gameplay itself is addictive as all get out. If you've ever played an isometric RPG, you're like, yes, this is so addicting. Kill, 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 kill. It's just, that's all it is. And the story so far is really well written. The voice acting in this game is superb. I honestly have to say that if I actually were to try and get people to record voice acting, I it would be the company that did this. Because, dear lord, voice acting is amazing. Um, I did have some issues with the timing of the video and the timing of the voice acting. But that's probably due to OBS and not due to the game itself. Um, there's also all the tips and tricks and everything. They're like, oh, we're hinting at you and everything. So that's going to be popping up on the screen as well. And I apologize for that. But... You know, as I said, I've only played four hours of the game, and for some reason I had my controller plugged in, so I had to figure out all the controls. But back to the story at hand. The the fact that you're playing as a character as iconic as Abraham, you know, Van Helsing, is something that's actually kind of cool. Because it follows the storylines. And I I have said that I am, I'm, I'm a big person on on stuff like this and sci-fi and weird technology, cyberpunk stuff. So having a game that's kind of sort of based in 19th century Europe is actually kind of a cool idea because there's a lot of different games out there that are pretty and out there like uh, The Witcher and everything where it's just RPG-ness and this and that and you can do all this other stuff. But this game is a different take on all those types of ideas. If, if you understand what I'm saying. Because the aspect of this game is more story than pretty. And yes, the the backdrops and everything are beautiful. I mean, that rock right there is just so beautiful. You, you wouldn't even understand how pretty that rock is. But... I'm saying but a lot in this. I'm sorry. I've... Become kind of complacent with the games that I've been playing and I wanted to kind of throw this in there because normally I don't play games that are are something that I've bought uh, I normally only play like free to play games and everything that way I know that I'm not going to get hit with some sort of copyright infringement or something but I, I figured I'd, I'd try this out I, my, my old disclaimer is going to be there as well at the end of the video but oh and it's going to be in the uh, uh, description as well me and my butts today I'm telling you I'm tired it's been a long day. Uh, oh, um, another thing that's actually kind of cool about this game is for those of you that own the Xbox 360, there's a copy of this game out there for you. It's on Xbox Live Arcade, so go have fun. Because, you know, Xbox Live Arcade on the 360. I don't even own a 360 right now. I'm envious. But I'm working my way up. I'm working my way up to try and do some stuff. So hence why I'm trying to do more videos and get stuff out there. Uh, the 
in town stuff, which I'm going to be getting to soon, gets really hilarious because there's voice acting that just gets hilariously out there with certain things. Uh, there's references to all sorts of things. Um, one of which um, is going to be Hansel and Gretel. Another one is a hat and a whip, which I I know what that's a reference to. If if you don't know what that uh, that's a reference to, please leave comments below and ask, and I'll I'll actually answer that one. There's there's all sorts of other things. There's like the Elizabeth Bathory like inn or whatever, and you're like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> How does this exist? So they they play they kind of poke fun at history and some of the stuff that actually happened that is kind of hilarious because there's the aspect of it being normal and the aspect of the characters being like, oh, well, this is not normal, but it's normal for this game, so we're going to go with it. Um... EA more menus. I do apologize about the menus again and again and again. I apologize. But I need these menus because if I'm going to do this build and I'm going to run this character, I have to freaking do it. So. Um. This is going to be the end of this video because I'm going to do that. Anyway. I'm Uriel Locke. This is The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, and um, there's going to be more of these videos if I don't get copyright hit, so I hope the company doesn't mind me doing videos on their game and giving them publicity, because, you know, it's freaking amazing. Go play it. Um, my personal suggestion, pick it up on a Steam sale. Uh, right now, I think the first game is... Let me check real quick. I'm going to actually check and, and quote you guys on how much they are. Okay, so the first game is going to be $14.99. I think the second game is going to be... What, is this the second game? No, this is the third game. Why is the third game weird? Okay. So the third game is actually fourteen ninety nine as well, which is newer. And then uh, here's the second one. Oh, that's fourteen ninety nine as well. Okay, so all three of them are fourteen ninety nine separately, or you can buy the. Oh, they actually have a final cut of the first game, which will run you forty four ninety nine. And then there's also the collector's edition thing, which uh, I think is all the games. Let me check that real quick. Uh, yeah, it's actually all of them, and it's gonna cost. It's gonna run you seventy four ninety nine for all of them, which isn't half bad. But when the Steam sale hits, it's gonna be cheaper than that anyway. But I, I would encourage you people that like the uh, action RPG style, go play these games if you haven't. They're really worth it. Um, apparently there's downloadable content that I already have for the second game, which is kind of weird. Oh, the arcane mechanic is actually a downloadable content for the first game, along with a thaumaturge. Cool. Um, and then there's the blood. Blue blood? Weird. But uh, th all the downloadable content, of course, is going to be on Steam if you want to play all the games. The third game didn't really get that good of reviews I, from what it said. It got mixed on there. And then uh, I'm actually going to look at the first one. What did the first one get? Very positive for the first one. And then the second one got mostly positive. Oh, wait, that's the music. I'm talking the game, not the music. Where'd the second one go? Second one, where'd you go? Oh, did I? Okay, so the second one's mixed as well. So the first one's good, the second and third are both mixed. But the first one's definitely worth a playthrough. So, uh, again, I'm Uriel Locke. This is The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. And, um... Please like, subscribe, and share my videos, and keep watching, because you never know what I'm going to do next.